Hi everybody, today I'll show you WooCommerce checkout and card page customization tutorial. So let's just begin. Alright, so first thing that we need to do is to go inside the store and here you will be able to see our WooCommerce store. Okay, but before that I'm going to need some plugins. So let's just go inside plugins and click on add new plugin. And here you will need to install WooCommerce block. Alright, so as you can see this, we have this WooCommerce block here. So let's click on install now. And we also need to update our WooCommerce tool here. Okay. All right. So I need to install Elementor, Header and Footer Builder. So let's install this. And I also need to install Essential Add-ons for Elementor. So let's click on install now. And in the last, I would also need to install WooLanter too. All right. So the WooLanter is now known as the Shop Lanter. So let's click on install now. Okay. So now what we need to do, let's just go inside install plugins. We need to activate all the plugins that we have installed here. Okay. So let's just check on all the plugins that we have installed now. So this is Elementor, Error and Footer, Essential, Shop Blender, WooCommerce Blog, and WooCommerce is already activated. Okay. So now let's just click on Bulk Action, click on Activate, and click on Apply. All right. So all of the plugins are activated now. So now let's just go inside the shop. And I would add some elements into the card. All right. So now let's go inside our card here. Click on view card. All right. So this is our card page. And now first thing that I need to do, I have to go inside the checkout page too. So let's click on proceed to checkout. Okay. And now I'm going to click on edit page here. And now I would also go on to the checkout page. All right. So this is how our checkout page is looking. All right, so we also need to edit this as well. So we're going to simply click on edit page and we're going to go inside the cart. All right, so I needed to switch from one browser to another because the first one was working properly. All right, so this is the edit page of the cart and this is the edit page of the checkout. Okay, so we're going to do the customization here. So this is the WooCommerce cart shortcut that was added by the WooCommerce. We're going to simply add our cart here. Okay, so let's click on add to blog. And here you need to search for card here by WooCommerce. So this is basically by the WooCommerce. So let's click on it and you will be able to see the card here. Okay. So let's just close this. And now you can simply do the customization here of your card. All right. So in the product side, we can't do a lot of the customization, but we can do the customization on these prices side. And you can also add the block in it if you want. And you can also do the customization in this area as well. And if you wanted to add anything from your site, you can simply do it from here. Okay. So right now I just wanted to delete this part. Okay. So let's just click on here and click on card. So I would go here with pro cell. So I'm going to simply delete this. And now in the card total, I would like to delete the add copy right now. So let's just delete this. And if you want to change the heading, you can simply do it from here as well. But there is no so much customization on the product side. Okay. And we also have the empty card as well. So if I just click on the empty card, you can see this. We have this empty card. And after that, we have these related products and all that. So I don't want to have any related products. So I'm going to simply remove uh, these newest products from here. So let's click on delete. And I'm going to also delete this heading. All right, so we also need to delete this separator as well. All right, so this is looking fine. So I'm going to simply go here with it. All right, so if you wanted to change the text here, you can simply do it from here. You can also do the customization of the text and the background from here as well. You can also see the option of the typography. So you can increase or decrease the size of the text. And after that, we have this button of the browse store. So you can also do the styling of it as well. All right, so this is how it works. All right, so right now I'm going to simply delete the short code that was already available on this page. So let's just remove this and save our page now or update the page. All right, so in the similar way, we're going to go inside the checkout page and we'll do the customization here. So for the customization, I will need to click on the ad block and I'm going to simply write down checkout here and you will be able to see the checkout. So let's click on this and you will be able to see our checkout here. Okay, so let's close this. And from here, you can see we have the different sections. So we have the contact information section. We have the shipping address section. And after that, we have the shipping option. And you can also see the other options here as well. Okay, so let's click on the contact information right now. And now you can see here, I can simply change the text here. 
and we can also change the text of this description as well and if you wanted to add a new blog you can simply do it from here and after that we have the shipping address so let's click on it so from here you can simply change the heading we can simply change the paragraph but you can't do the customization in the fields here okay but if you wanted to add a new blog you can simply do it so same goes for the shipping options and the payment options all right so i wanted to delete this section the checkout totals but seem like i can't delete it so if i just click on here you won't be able to see the option of delete because the block is actually locked by default okay so what we're gonna do here we're gonna simply update this and after that i would like to create the customized header and the footer for the card and checkout page okay so for that i will need to go inside the dashboard and here you can see the option of the appearance and i have to click on elementor header and the footer builder or right, so i would need to create the template here so let's click on add new so this is the header so this is only for card header all right and this would be header and here i only want to select a specific page so that would be card page all right so i have the two card pages so that is why i'm gonna select both of these all right so here what i need to do i have to click on publish and now what i need to do i have to click on edit with elementor all right, so here let's just add the container and I would like to have the two column structure. So let's just pick this one and I would actually change the content width. So this would be full width. Okay, so I would need to change the width of the first column. All right, so here I can simply add the logo of our website. So let's click on it and here I'm going to add the image. So let's choose the image. All right, so let's just pick the logo here. Click on select and we have to go inside the style all right so now i need to change the width here so this would be like this much and now i would click on the second column so here i will select the heading okay so this would be card okay so now what i need to do i have to click on here on this column i have to align this into the center and now what i need to do here i need to change the width of the first column so that might be this much all right, so here I would like to remove the gap from here and I'm going to remove the gap from my second column as well. Okay, and what I need to do, I also have to change the padding here. So that would be zero. And we're going to also change the padding in the first one. So that would be zero, two. All right, so now this is looking fine. Okay, so now let's click on update. All right, so I also need to update the background color here. So let's click on the top container and click on the style. So I would like to go here with a kind of white color. Okay, let's click on update this now. And now we're going to go back to our WordPress dashboard. All right, so now we're going to go back into our Elementor header in the footer. So let's click on here. All right, so I want a similar kind of header for my checkout too. So I'm going to simply click on EA duplicator. So this would actually duplicate my card header. And then what I need to do, I just need to change the value here. So that would be checkout header. So let's click on publish. All right, so I need to change the pages here. So that would be checkout. So let's click on update. So let's click on edit with Elementor now. All right, so now you can see here we have our heading here. So we're going to simply change the text here. So that would be checkout. Okay, so let's click on update and the header of our checkout page is also ready okay so this is how we can set the header so now what we need to do we have to go back into our wordpress dashboard so let's go inside our woocommerce store and now if i just go inside into our card page you will be able to see the difference here okay and if i also go inside the checkout page you will also see the difference on our checkout page okay you can see the header here as well and in the similar way, you can also add the footer if you want to. But right now, I'm not creating the footer for our checkout or card page. So that is the idea of the customization of our checkout and the card page. But if you want to go further in the customization, you can simply click on the customize here. Now you can simply see the option of the additional CSS. So for the further customization, you can simply go inside it and you can add your custom CSS for it as per your need. So this is how we can customize the checkout and the card page in the WooCommerce. So if you really find this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.